Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I am back with another very exciting and very informative video. So the previous video I've showed you this simple RBF app, which is a simple application that I've created that will create uh, an implicit boundary between two different domains in 2D. So the way it works is that you digitize with left click points for domain one and with right click points for domain two and it interactively is going to create the boundary between them. It, it is a toy, let's call it that way, because it's not that useful if you want to use this. So you cannot use this in your day-to-day -day work, but it is very helpful for you to understand how the RBF works or how these implicit modeling softwares works. And if you want to go a little bit deeper and maybe create this RBF function that I've created uh, from scratch, if you're interested in that, you can go and click and watch that video here. But, and by the way, this application is for free, even though that it it's showing the dollar mark here or symbol and it's saying name a fair price. I think a fair price is zero since it's just a toy. Put in zero there and click on I want this and you will be able to download this for free. You don't have to put in anything in there. I'm not looking for money. And so this is not the reason of this video. The reason is actually about a second application that I'm building right now and I would like some feedback. So it's not available yet. So if you're looking to download this one, don't trash to the links because it's not there. I just want some feedback before I release this to everyone. This application, it's going to be useful for some of you. So it's not a toy. The way it works is that uh, you start with this scene, so uh, obviously this is going to change, so I'm going to make it look uh, better, I think. So the way it works is that you import the color table. I think most of you, since you're here following me, you know what is the color table. So we use these tables for um, to, import, to create drill holes or to see drill holes in 3D in you know, in any geological modeling or mining software. So we start with a color table, usually it contains like X, Y, Z coordinates and the maximum depth in some, uh, for some uh, softwares. And then let's go to the survey table. This is how the drill hole deviates in the uh, subsurface. And then we've got the geology table. So let's go and import that geology table. Then also this tool will allow you to import a DEM. For now, it supports only raster topographies, but uh, one of the things that I will add to this tool is to support DXF files. And maybe if you have a mesh from let's say Leapfrog or Micromine or any other mining package, you will be able to import that mesh or that wireframe to the, uh, the drill hole section tool uh, easily. So let's go and import this uh, topography. So as you can see, we've got like two different tabs here, one for plan view, the other one is for cross section. So it's all in just 2D. But if you guys are interested in seeing this in 3D, I can add another, let's say tab here that will show the drill holes in 3D. But for now, uh, I think my main focus is to create the sections and make them look perfect. So I'm going to show you what's available so far and you guys let me know in the comments below either if you've seen this on LinkedIn or on YouTube, make sure to comment and let me know what kind of features that you want to see. So if you don't see any commands, which means that everything is perfect and I will just add the, the features that I want and that's it. So, but if you're looking for something specific, this is your time. So comment below. Um, so yeah, you can see that we've got a plan view of the drill holes. So the first thing that you'll see is that these, um, you know, cross marks here, these are basically the colors or the different coordinates of the drill holes that we have. And since you don't see anything, maybe there's like a small line you can see there, these are inclined uh, holes, but all of these, since they are vertical, you can just see the color uh, mark from the top. So you don't see that. Uh, drill hole or the different lithologies, but these are the different lithologies inside all of these drill holes. These are the unique lithologies in all of these holes. So let's go now and trace a section. 
and see um, how it works. So the first thing they would do is you will click once and twice to create an A, B section. So that's going to be point A and point B. That section is going to be added here in the legend and you will see also the trace of that section. So that's the section that I've traced. It's A and B. And then these uh, dashed lines represent the projection distance. So I've got like a 50 degree, uh, 50, sorry, meters or whatever is the unit that you're using here. So that's going to be the projection distance. So everything that is within this boundary, it's going to be projected to that vertical plane there. And it's going to appear in the cross section. Okay. So, and then the next thing it will do is you can go and check the cross section here and you can see that's the section and these are the three drill holes that we've um, plotted there. So that's how it uh, works. Then let's say you want to do another section. The way to do that is you can go and reset the section plot and that will remove that section and then you can go and move to another location. Let's say here and you want to digitize another one by click and a second click here and this is going to create another section in this location and you wait just for a few seconds and the section is going to be there you can see that the projection distance you can change it here if you want and then if you go here you can see that we've got that section now it also supports uh, inclined holes so let's take a look at another data set so let's go and reset this one and I'm going to go to import color I think it's this data set so let's go to color and then go to survey and then go to the geology table and this is the new uh, drill hole database so as you can see these are like uh, you can see them as segments or lines that's because these are inclined holes and these are the different dummy uh, you know uh, lithologies that I've added there so all of these are the unique lithologies that you can see in here so let's go and digitize maybe a section here so we can see that drill hole and then again you, you will see the section uh, being added to the uh, legend here so that's the section and we can see the section here that's our drill hole we can go back reset this one and let's create one last section so we can do this and yeah it supports in any direction so you guys see me only digitizing the section in one direction parallel to the x uh, um, axis here but you can digitize in any any direction and it works so this is again these are the uh, drill holes that were intercepted there and this is the uh, topography so let me tell you about the things that I will be adding uh, so the first thing is I will add options to either plot or remove the text I will add features to like play around with the text like the formatting uh, I will add an option to in case you have like two drill holes next to each other to like automatically adjust the text and make it like uh, readable so that the text is not overlapping so I've noticed that with some of the drill holes that are next to each other and uh, I will add the option also to display the drill hole names on the plan view I will add an option by the way now the all the colors that you see here are random colors but I will add an option to like uh, pick whatever color so it's you're going to have all the unique lithologies and then you can pick whatever color for each one of these lithologies and it's going to be a fixed color in both the cross section the plan view not sure if you guys are interested in seeing these in 3d I can also add that for now I'll be focusing only on plotting lithologies so there will be uh, so I don't think that will add the support to numerical data like assay, uh, an assay table but if there's an interest please let me know in the bottom uh, in the comments below I'll make sure to probably maybe add another option to import an assay table and see the numeric values and the other thing is so I want to make this uh, a little bit different than any other section tools I've seen a lot of 
maybe uh, companies they're creating uh, section tools for uh, QGIS or other, you know, or ArcGIS or like these plugins, but um, none of them actually, they have the option to like create automated, uh, you know, section in a way that it's going to fill in the different lithologies. So you'll have like any geological modeling software. So you'll have the option to like, um, maybe this is a deposit, this is an intrusion, this is a vein, and that's on the section level, it's not a 3D. So I'm planning to add that option in the end. It's like, you can make this uh, either automated, so this is going to be all filled with the same color maybe, and it stops maybe here, and then, um, or you can do this manually, so you can go and digitize like polygons here around this specific lithology, and it's going to be colored with that one. And yeah, I'm going to work a little bit on the way it looks. So it's not this uh, simple. So you can maybe play around with the width of the uh, topography line here, changing the colors and all of that stuff. Um, yeah, this is these are the things that I thought that I could add. But, and of course, I'm not going to spend months on into like, trying to create the perfect tool. This is going to be just uh, another tool that might be helpful to some of you who just want to see sections like really quickly. You don't have to pay for uh, a subscription to like a, a commercial package to do such a thing. That's the idea. And um, yeah, please, if you're interested, this is your chance. Let me know in the comments below what kind of things you would like to see because once I think that I've added everything, uh, I'm gonna package this one to a .exe file and I don't think that I will have time to update it. So make sure to let me know in the comments below what kind of things you want. Please share this video with anyone who might be interested. And with that being said, see you in the next video. He's the mining geologist here to show you all the things